Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will continue with the Notes app. In previous video, we have set up view model and adapter. So if you have not yet watched it, I'll highly recommend you to watch that first and then watch this video. Now, in this video, we will be covering fragments and the final output. Also, this is our last video of the Notes app series. So now, let's create it. We already have three fragments, that is home fragment, add note fragment and edit note fragment. Home fragment is where all the notes will be displayed. Add note fragment is where we can add a new note. And edit note fragment is where we can edit the existing note. Simple. So first, let's start with home fragment. Let me quickly remove all the unnecessary code. And done. Now, here we have to create multiple functions that will help us to display the notes in a recycler view. And also a search view to search a note. So first, we will extend the fragment layout here as fragment home. Then, as we will be using search view, so extend search view dot on query text listener. And as this search view will be present on action bar menu, so extend menu provider as well. And done. Next, we will be using data binding in fragment. So let me quickly declare it. And done. Then obviously we will require view model to connect with UI and adapter for recycler view. So declare them as well. And done. Then we have already declared data binding. So inside on create view, initialize it as well. And done. Next, in on view created, we need to initialize menu host. Like this way. And then, then also initialize notes view model. And then, then if you remember on home fragment, we have if add fab button at the bottom, right? If we click on it, it will lead to add note fragment, correct? So let's navigate it. Set on click listener on add note fab and inside it find the nav controller then navigate it from home fragment to add note fragment. And done. Now outside on view created we need to create 8 functions. So let's create it one by one. First is very simple that is to update the UI. So let me write the code first.
and done. Now see, if you remember, we had an empty notes image, right? In case of no notes available, an empty notes image will be visible and recycler view will be gone. But if notes are available, means not empty, then recycler view will be visible and empty notes image will be gone. Simple. Next is to set up recycler view function. So let me write the code first. And done. Now see, first we have initialized node adapter. Then as we want a recycler view in a staggered layout, hence we have used staggered grid layout manager on home recycler view. The layout is vertical and contains only two grid in a row. Got it? Then set the adapter. Then we need to display all the nodes in the recycler view. Correct? So for that we need to observe it. Here, get all nodes method is observed and a list of nodes via node adapter is displayed on the recycler view. Lastly, update UI method which we created before with node as an argument means update the UI according to node availability or not. Got it? Next is to set up menu on the action bar. That's where we have to place the search view, right? So menu provider provides us with two functions. These two functions are of search view, so add them as well. See, first is on create menu where we will initialize the menu and second is on menu item selected if we click on that menu item basically. First is to clear the menu means it removes an existing menu item then attach or inflate the home menu which we created in the menu directory like this way and done then initialize search menu item present in the home menu Keep is submit button enabled as false because we don't require any submit button. Search will simply filter it and set on query text listener as this activity itself. Lastly, on menu item selected will be false because when clicked on it, the search logic will not be handled by menu host. Instead, we will create a separate function for it. So create a new function as search node with parameter as query. Then create a variable as search query and initialize it with query by concatenating percentage. 
The percentage sign is interpreted as a wildcard character indicating that there can be zero or more characters in that position. Then we need to search the node in the list by observing like this way. And done. Then on query text listener comes with two functions. First is on query text submit, and second is on query text change. In first one, when the user write the query and submit it by clicking on the search button, then it provides the results. But we don't want that way, so keep it false. What I want is as the user keeps typing the query, the result starts showing up. Got it? Which is possible with the help of on query text change. So if new text, is not null means there is a query present then search the note and return true simple then last method is on destroy here the app is destroyed means the fragment is no longer in use in that case our home binding fragment will become null got it and that's it. Lastly, don't forget to call Setup Home Recycler View inside On View Created. And done. Our home fragment is ready. Next, go to Add Node Fragment. Remove unnecessary code. Here, we need to save the title and the description of the node in the database. And that Save button will be on the Action Bar menu. So, we need to set that too. There will be few things that will be quite similar to home fragment like binding and menu host. So wherever required, we will simply copy paste it to save time. Okay. So first thing is to extend XML layout here as fragment add node, then menu provider. Now inside it, let me quickly set up binding. And done. Then declare notes view model. And a view as add note view, which is the add note fragment itself. Next, inside on create view, initialize data binding as well. And done. Then inside on view created, simply copy paste these three lines. And done. This is to set up menu host. This is to initialize view model. And also initialize the view itself. And done. Next, outside on view created, create a new function as save note. Let me write the code first.
and done. Now see, first we take title and description of the note as an input from the user through edit text. Then checks if note title is not empty, means title is present. Then simply add the note with its title and description in the database. Then throw a toast as note saved. And also at the same time navigate back to home fragment once the note is saved. Else throw a toast as please enter the title. Got it? Next we have two functions of menu provider. In on create menu, first clear the existing item and then attach the menu add note which we created before. Then in on menu item selected, we will create a condition as written when menu item dot item id that is save menu item in the menu is clicked then save note method with argument as add note view how we write this in activities here it is same view return true else false last thing to do is overwrite on destroy function And inside it, add node binding as null. And that's it. Our add node fragment is also ready. Next, go to edit node fragment. Remove unnecessary code. Here we need to perform two things. One is to save the updated note and second is to delete the note from the database. So let's do it one by one. First is to extend XML layout as fragment edit note. Then as the delete node will be on the action bar menu, so we will require menu provider. Then inside it, set a binding. And done. Next, declare view model. And note data class. And done. Also, we have attached data or the argument in name graph. So, for that, we will require edit node fragment args, that is argument by nav argument. Got it? Then, same initialize data binding. And done. Again, these three lines will be same in on view created. And done. Also, don't forget to initialize current node as argument dot note. Then we need to save the updated note when the floating action button will be clicked. So first, let me write the code.
and done now see first whatever the respective node title and node description is that is displayed on its respective field with the help of set text then if the user updates the node by clicking on the fab button then the following actions will be performed like take node title and node description as an input from the user and if node title is not empty then take current node id title and the description and update it as soon as it's updated go back to home fragment else if the title is empty then simply throw a toast as please enter the node title and then next is to implement delete feature so to do that create a function as delete node so let me write the code and done now see here when you will click on delete note it will throw a dialog box whose title is delete note and message as do you want to delete this note with two buttons as positive button and negative button so in positive button it simply deletes the note from the database and negative button which won't do anything null and then create it and display it Next is to set up two function of menu provider. So in on create menu, first clear the menu, then inflate the edit note menu which we created before. And then, then in on menu item selected, return when. menu item dot item id that is delete menu id is clicked then delete note method true or else false and then last thing is to override on destroy function keep edit node binding as null and that's it our edit node fragment is also ready and so do our node set now let's run it we have an error let me figure it out okay got it see here the import of search view should be android x not android so correct that look this one not this one Now again, let's run the app. See, there is no notes available, so it shows the empty notes image. Then we will add a note. Let me quickly write title and description. And now I'll click on Save Menu, and see it says Note Saved, and also it displayed in a standard layout. Cool, right? Then I'll click on it to edit the note, 
and write something and click on fab see the note is updated and also back to home fragment then i'll quickly create another note and done now let's delete this note and see it says note deleted great right and that's it now for your convenience i'll be releasing the source code of notes app series soon so if you are facing any error then you can simply compare your code with my source code okay also for more updates you can follow us on instagram or join a telegram group link in the description box so yeah that is it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video